Hey guys, it's Sarah, and today we are going to talk about some of my most anticipated book releases coming out for the summer. Now, these are going to be July, August, September. So, um, there are some really good books coming out. <laughs> um, so, I'm excited to talk about them. But these are the ones that I am personally the most excited about. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to put a little bit of a disclaimer here that as of filming this video, this is when these books are coming out. However, dates tend to change. They're still changing. Even before I sat down to film this, I double checked on all the dates and I had to change two of them because the dates changed. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we are changing all the time. <laughs> so I know that things can happen and they can get pushed or they can get pushed up sometimes. Um, I think uh, one of them was supposed to come out in October, but now it's September. So I was able to change that. So that was nice. But it's a uh, it's an ever changing game in the publishing world for dates for sure. But as of when I'm filming this, this is when these books are coming out. I literally just checked them all out. Um, so if anything changes in the future, not my fault. Okay, so starting with July, there's only two in July actually that I'm that has really piqued my interest. The first one is coming out July 5th, and that is Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. Number one, this cover really stood out to me. And this one is a science fiction type book where I believe there's some sort of virtual reality element to it. I don't know if it goes into like a competition type thing, but I've heard like little whispers of Ready Player One vibes, but still its own thing type thing. So I don't know if it goes into like a competition or not, if or, or if it just kind of reflects on the characters and their relationships, including this virtual reality stuff. I think it's more on that side of it, but um, I'm definitely excited to read this one and I already have it through Night Galley. Okay, uh, the other one coming out in July comes out August 12th and that is Upgrade by Blake Crouch. Another Blake Crouch book, I'm so excited. I have loved his last two releases, like absolutely love them. So when I saw that he was coming out with another one, I was like, yes, I'm jumping on board because he writes science fiction <laughs> in such a great way. Like he makes me feel like I understand it, even though I probably don't. I probably don't really grasp any of the concepts he's talking about, but I feel like I do. So it's okay, right? Um, kind of like Andy Weir. Like I feel like I get it, even though I probably don't, but that's okay. So this one is actually about humanity getting hacked, if you will. So human bodies are getting hacked. And I don't know what that means yet, but we are following our main character. His name is Logan and he wakes up and he feels like he's, you know, had a little bit of an upgrade, if you will. And, uh, but he doesn't know why he doesn't know why he was picked for this. And he's kind of trying to unravel all that stuff and see if he can prevent the entirety of humanity from being hacked. And I have this one already as well from Nick Kelly. Okay. Let's talk about August. <laughs> We're going to be here a while. August is a great month for releases. I mean, I was making this list and I was like, oh my gosh, everything is coming out in August for me this year. I don't know what it is. Uh, May and August were my biggest months for book releases that I'm excited about. Okay, so we're gonna try to go a little, little quickly here. August 2nd, Husband Material by Alexis Hall, book number two um, after Boyfriend Material, which I loved so much. I cannot wait to read Husband Material. And um, I'm probably going to listen to this on audio because his audiobooks are so great. I love the narrators of them. They are different people, but they're all British and I just, I love them so much. They're so entertaining to listen to. So I'll probably listen to that, but I also will want a copy for my shelves because I just have loved his contemporary romances that I've read so far. So definitely into that one. And I don't know where the, I mean, I'm assuming <laughs> that our main characters are probably going to either get engaged or get married. But um, in the first book, you are following uh, two men who are doing like a fake dating type thing because they both need something from each other. And then they end up obviously falling in love. And it was just so adorable. Okay, coming out on August 9th is Stay Awake by Megan Golden. I have read one book by Megan Golden so far, and I really did like it. I read The Night Swim. And so I'm excited for this one because this one... <laughs> I don't know what the entire premise is, but from the synopsis of it, there is a woman who gets out of a taxi cab. She has no idea where she's been, what happened to her. I think she's kind of disheveled. She gets out of this taxi at her apartment. She goes up to her apartment, but someone else is living in it. Like she doesn't live there anymore, but she has no recollection of that. And there is something written either on her hand or her arm that says stay awake. And she has no idea what's going on. So... 
into that. I have this one on that galley too. Okay, so um, August 16th, The Drowned Woods by Emily Lloyd Jones. I have talked about Emily Lloyd Jones recently. She is one that I talked about when I was talking about authors who I've read from, but I need to read more from. Like, I've only read one of her books so far, but I own two more. And then this one is coming out and it's an anticipated read. So she's definitely one I need to um, get back onto her bandwagon and read a little bit more from her as an author, because I just loved the first one I read and I just need to like read more. But okay, so this one is much more a little bit into a fairy tale type of narrative than some of her other books have been. But this follows a girl who has some magical powers and she has been basically enslaved by a prince who is using her for her powers and she has to do all these things for him. And one day he definitely crosses a line for her and uh, because she located somebody he was looking for, he ended up killing all those people. And so she was like, okay, I'm done <laughs> with this and she escapes from him. And now she's kind of being tasked with taking him down personally. And so she's trying to figure out how she's going to do that. So it sounds a lot, it's like a fairy tale-ish and she's like a water diviner, which is interesting. So yeah, but definitely interested in that one. I just got approved on Nick Alley for it. I was very excited when I got that uh, notification. So I'm excited. Okay. August 16th, Ashley Winstead has another thriller coming out and I am oh so excited. This this one might be one that I pre-order, um, but The Last Housewife is coming out on August 16th. And Oh, I'm pretty sure she tackles cults in this one. And I am just so excited and so here for that because I loved her first thriller in My Dreams of Hold a Knife. That was one of my favorite books of last year. And I just, I have a feeling this woman is going to be an author for me. Like she's probably going to be an autobiography author for me going forward. And her thriller, like just her last one was so good. And this one sounds so good that I am very much anticipating this one. Okay, on the 23rd is Love on the Brain by Allie Hazelwood. Now, this is another women in STEM book, kind of like her first one, The Love Hypothesis. And she's had a couple novellas come out over the summer as well. I think I haven't gotten to those yet. I would like to eventually, but I really did love The Love Hypothesis. So this one is another full-length novel like that, and it's going to be a woman in STEM falling in love and follow that story type thing. Um so I'm excited for that one. The cover's super cute. And I have this one on Neck Alley as well. Also on August 23rd is Girl Forgotten by Karen Slaughter. I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to read it at some point because Karen Slaughter is definitely one of my favorite authors. It's going to be creepy. It's going to hopefully be a little gory and gruesome. And I'm here for it. And on August 30th is the next book by Alice Feeney. And it's called Daisy Darker. I have an interesting track record with Alice Feeney, <laughs> but the last book that I read from her was a five star. I read Rock, Paper, Scissors and absolutely loved it. So I'm definitely on the Alice Feeney train. I'm hoping that I'm going to more love her books than not, um, but I guess we'll see how it goes moving forward. So I am definitely anticipating this one. It definitely has like an Agatha Christie and then there were none vibes. It follows a family who goes to this gothic manor where her it says her nana so I'm guessing her grandmother lives and her entire family is going there to be with her for I don't know what reason I think it's her birthday or something and so everyone's going there however there's been a lot of conflict in the family and a lot of secrets and blah 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 and uh during their visit their nana ends up dead and then not too long after that another family member dies so it's kind of like oh, okay what's happening uh so I'm definitely interested to see where Alice Feeney is going to take this type of story. Okay, so also on August 30th, Amari and the Great Game by B.B. Elston. Please do not get pushed back again. <laughs> this has been pushed back like three times. <laughs> I keep getting notifications because I have this book pre-ordered. As soon as it was available for pre-order, I pre-ordered it and I kept getting like, the date's been pushed. I'm like, why? But why though? <laughs> Like, I'm so excited for the sequel. Um, this is a middle grade series and Amari and the Night Brothers was one of my favorite books of last year as well. It is so good and so well written. I just, it was a middle grade book that kept me on my toes, which I was really surprised about. Usually I can kind of see where things are going in middle grade, but this one really surprised me and the writing was fantastic and the characters were fantastic. And so I'm so excited to see what's going to happen next. 
Hopefully it will be coming out August 30th. And um, yeah, I have it pre-ordered, so it will be coming to me for sure. Okay, last one for August, also August 30th. That's a big day. Carrie Soto is back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Now this one follows Carrie Soto, who was a character in Malibu Rising. She was the um, hmm, mistress of somebody in that book, if you will. She was a famous tennis player and um, she, she does some things. She does some stuff some unmentionable things in that book. And so now we're going to see her as a character, which I'm pretty excited about. I think it's going to be very dramatic because she had some, she had some stuff happening. So, um, she made some choices, but I'm really excited to see that. And it's Taylor Jenkins read. She's an auto buy author for me. I'm going to buy it and I'm going to read it. Okay. September. There's only two. First one is September 6th, fairy tale by Stephen King. He is going fantasy and I'm so excited to read this. I know he's written fantasy before, but, um, this it, this is like other world like portal fantasy if you will and so I'm really excited to see what he does I don't remember the full premise of it but I remember reading it and I was like "Ooh, we're doing portal fantasy here Stephen King I am in <laughs> I want to see how he does this um so and Stephen King he's definitely another like auto buy I want to read I want to read his work so um yeah and September 27th, The Winners by Frederick Bachman, which is book number three in the Beartown series. I am so here for this. I've already pre-ordered it. I cannot wait. I'm going to reread Beartown and Us Against You before this comes out so that I'm ready to go because those are two books I've been wanting to reread. And I will definitely plan on doing that because this is going to be one that I'm not going to want to wait <laughs> to like read this and finish it. I believe this is supposed to be the last one in the series from things that he has said. But uh, yeah, just mm, follows a hockey team that has a lot of problems, a lot of problems, but so good. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for me today. These are so many books. Oh, gosh, August is going to be brutal. <laughs> I'm going to have to control my buying over the summer so I can wait for August. Like, I'm not kidding. I want so many of those books. It's ridiculous. So, oh, I am very fortunate to have a lot of them on NetGalley already. Not all of them, though. And like some of the ones I'm most anticipating, I'm not able to get because they're big releases. So it's okay. But um, all right, let me know your thoughts down below. Are you excited for any of these? What's coming out over the summer that you're anticipating? I'd love to know that. And I will see you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.